What's up nerds? Welcome back to the channel. We got another unboxing or rather and we haven't done this in a minute unbagging because Monster Bass just came back with the bags. So these must be back in stock, I guess. Let's find out more. And it's also constructed a little differently, which makes me happy. So we're going to dive into this one. This is the regional bag. I need to clarify something real quick. I got some comments. Some people weren't paying attention in the last episode, so I'll make it extra clear right here. We unboxed the national box earlier this month. We did that the month before as well, and we'll probably keep doing that. So I want you guys to know, or be aware of at least, like the lower cost box that Monster Bass offers. It's got six baits instead of eight, but it's also less than 30 bucks. So if it's something you're, you're looking for, you want a new fishing subscription box, or just pick up some extra tackle that you know is gonna catch fish, it's a good option, okay? Okay, this is the regional bag, right? Hopefully that's now clear. Thank you so much for listening. Let's dive into this unboxing. This is the regional bag for April 2022. We've got a Carolina special bag, as well as some extra baits. A couple Carolina things, Fantastic, a couple extra baits, also fantastic. That's a huge bonus. So we're gonna get into this and hopefully clear up the mess that was last month. Thank you guys so much for being here and for watching. If you guys like the channel, of course, be sure to subscribe, smash the like, and ring that notification bell. And then come back Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern, we go live. Speaking of lives, on the 28th, Thursday the 28th, we're gonna have the guy running this fantastic fundraiser on the podcast. His name's That Bass Fishing Dude, so definitely go follow him at That Bass Fishing Dude. There's some underscores in there, beginning and end, on Instagram and Facebook, and we're gonna be trying to raise some money for what he's doing, which is promoting autism awareness and acceptance. So this shirt says, see the able, not the label, if you can see there. You know, it's this crazy bright yellow, but whatever, I love the kayak with the cross paddles on there and the puzzle pieces. You guys know we are big about autism awareness and acceptance on our channel. These are other people's autism anglers and April is autism acceptance month. So it's something near and dear to our hearts. We're gonna close out the month strong. So when that bass fishing dude is on our podcast, Thursday the 28th, 8 p.m. Eastern. We're gonna be trying to help him sell whatever's left, if there is any of his shirts and hoodies. He's already raised $4,000 for the organization that he's working for, so it's awesome. All these shirts go towards that. Okay, so let's get to the baits, shall we? So here's the regional bag. It does come in a bag again. This is now back to the more durable feeling material, which has got me stoked. That super soft stuff tended to tear a little bit more. And also they reinforced the corners by the zippers. So that's huge, especially this one. So that zipper kind of runs back behind here a little bit. I had an issue with a few of my bags. You guys let me know in the comments below if you did, where I've had they, them puncture or break, and then I've had the zipper break as well. So um, I know that MB has been working behind the scenes to try and source the best possible manufacturer of these bags to, you know, obviously for them, since they're not charging us for this, make sure they're not jacking up their cost, uh, but at the same time provide us something valuable. So I do appreciate that. Let's see what's in here. Okay, off the top, I think this is extremely valuable, especially if you're a newer angler or aggressively average like me, and you're not familiar with all these basic original type techniques like the Carolina rig. So if you wanna learn more about something, I think it's cool that MB is grabbing some of our best sticks on the water, you know, fishermen and women that we have on the team to come together and provide you guys with some fantastic like tips, techniques, even the history of the bait itself. There we go, you got that, that nerdy bearded guy right there, that's Alex Rudd. You got Travis Manson, Smallmouth Crush there. Yeah, and this time that you've actually got like links to the videos that these guys are making, which is hella cool. You have got some community spotlight. We got Epic Eric, we got Lunar Phases. This is easily like the most legit and a half insert you've ever seen in a bag. And don't, don't give me that like, I don't need an insert. If you always pretend to be the smartest person in the room, you're actually not. You should always strive to be the dumbest person in the room. That means you can learn from everybody around you. And I think that that's really cool. I mean, it's a heck of a lot more useful than like some goofy articles and like a crossword or whatever you might get in other boxes. I'm just saying. All right, so other than that, you do get a sticker. You do get a golden ticket. I'm not showing you the other end of that. You know that. And then you get a bunch of baits. So in this bag in particular, we got two pieces of terminal, we got three hard baits, and we've got two bags of plastics. So the two pieces of terminal, two bags of plastics, 
that would be right there your Carolina setup. And also I, I do, I can do math, don't worry. Like I did call out national boxes six baits, regional boxes eight. This bag has seven. I'm assuming that's because the value of one or two of these baits is a little bit higher. We'll see, you guys decide. You let me know what you think of the bag in the comments below. You can love it or hate it, it's up to you. I love hearing your opinions on this. So let's start out with the hard baits. Now these are gonna be seasonally appropriate. They should also be regionally appropriate, so we'll talk about it as we go through them. And because this is the Carolina box, I just wanna hit these things first and then we'll move on. All right, so I'm gonna start with my least favorite of the three first and then we'll move into my my actual favorites. So this one right here, it is this like crazy, I'm calling it Mexican spice, they call it red ear, uh, but it's this chartreuse green red eye crankbait is from Lucky Strike. I mean, I'm absolutely certain that it is perfectly fine. And I'm also positive it'll probably catch fish. Am I excited for it at all? Not really. The good news is I'm excited for everything else that I saw in this bag. So if there's one dud to me and it's a crankbait that, I don't know, maybe I'll throw around. So I definitely can't knock chartreuse ever. And I mean, you got like a medium diving crankbait. So it's about a five to eight foot diver, it says, at three eighths of an ounce. For whatever reason, it's silent. There you go. So you got a crankbait. Neat, moving on. This next one, I haven't fished at this specific model, but I've fished vicious fishing before. This is called the Ripper 110. So what we have here is a floating, I'm hoping slow floating jerkbait. And you never know till you get on the water. Worst case scenario, if you guys ever have seen the suspend dots or suspending tape, it's like a little lead tape. You can throw on your baits. You can always tune your jerk bait to fish however you want it to. So they call this color gill. You get why. So nice muted like bluegill, very natural looking jerk bait in a 110 millimeter size. It's actually a size that I prefer to throw around. It's got better action in my opinion. You got three trebles, a very loud rattle. So this is gonna be like a bait fish they wanna eat just straight up on crack, going crazy. It's a really nice on the paint job. Design is fantastic, I love the finish on it. The eyes are kind of unique, kind of interesting. You don't see that kind of eye on too many baits. And you've got your, your little tight movement there, so this is gonna be that twitch, twitch, pause type movement with a jerk bait, which I'm definitely using this time of year. This is money, this color is money. If you're in the Midwest, Great Lakes Midwest region, like me, I'm in Michigan, you're gonna be very happy with this. And I've liked the way that the vicious fishing baits have fished in the past. I'll tell you something I've loved in the past. Arc, freaking Arc Fishing. Uh, originally a rod company, now an amazing bait company. Paul and I are huge fans of Arc. Um, and we've only used a few of their baits, so I'm excited to get to try something a little bit different. This is called the CT 3 to 5. It's a 3 to 5 foot diving square bill. So this is a... <laughs> Semi-translucent color, they call it Mystic Sexy Shad. Look at that. I can't even like do this justice with my lights. Hang on, how about now? Yeah, that top section is just like a really dark blue. So we got like pretty dark blue up top, lateral line, your gill dot, and then it's a semi-translucent underbelly there. It does have just kind of a heavy thud to it. Not too much at all. I, I imagine it's gonna have some good action, but Love the size, like a, a pretty small square bill, which is fantastic for throwing around this time of year. Look at the eyes. That's their logo, the ARC logo as the eye gives you a nice mean looking eye there. You got a pretty wide bill, I like that. So it's gonna have a ton of action. You've got some nice finesse trebles on here. This is perfect this time of year. Square bills is definitely on deck for me at all times right now. Anytime I hit a shallower water section, like I'm hucking these out just to do some searching and just see if I can knock into something and get a bite. This is dope. Very good looking square bill. Cannot wait to see how good the action is on the water. I feel like it's gonna be great. They're lipless that we've used a ton. One of my favorite lipless to throw around, easily. Okay, so hard baits are done. Let's get into the Carolina rig stuff, which this box is all about. So we got two pieces of terminal and then we got some plastics to rig to them. Let's hit the terminal first. Okay, I love you. Love you, bye. Goodbye. All right, so first up on the terminal, we've got the Monster Bass Sabertooth EWG and a three-aught. We also have this 
kit that totally fell apart, but all the pieces are still in there, so that's good. This is our Carolina kit. This is a super rad setup. This is the Tungsten Pro Pack. So we got a quarter ounce and a half ounce tungsten weight in here with beads, with clackers, with swivels. This is a high value kit. Now I hear you. These are Monster Bass products in a Monster Bass bag. What the heck is that about? I'll tell you what it's about. Um, normally I'd be opposed to this because I don't like seeing this in all the bags. So when we have all our baits and all our bags, like it's just a whole different company in general. But with Terminal, I'm all good, man. Like Terminal's Terminal for the most part. And these are on the upper end of Terminal as far as the quality goes. And I've used them a bunch. So I'm very happy with them. And I think you guys will be too. So there's the hooks. So up close on those weights. So again, they kind of fell out of their spacers, whatever, it's a packaging issue. There's your swivels. This is not the cheap swivel. These are nice swivels. Got nice beads here as well, black and red. You can use both, combination of both, or just same color, whatever you want to do. Clackers you can put between the beads uh, and then the weights right there. And these are the weights that you want to have when you're dealing with like a lot of rock cover. So around grass, they're not tapered in the end, so they're not gonna do amazing, but if you're on you know, open water or you've got low foliage because the water temps are just on the rise right now, these will work great. And that's basically all the waters I'm fishing. So there we go. So how to rig a Carolina rig, you should look at some of our videos that we've made in the past. There's also gonna be a ton of videos over on the Monster Bass channel, so just go check them out. You'll see from other great creators that are way smarter about fishing than me, and you can learn from them as well. But essentially, we're gonna have our main line go to our weight, clacker, bead type setup to a swivel, and then off the swivel, we're gonna have either monofilament line or fluorocarbon line, depending on what we wanna do. 99.9% .9 of the time, it's monofilament, right? Because it floats and it allows our bait, which we're gonna look at right now, to do what we want it to do, which is provide like a nice slow fall, almost like a weightless fall, and really draw in the bites. So what are we throwing on the hook that goes on the end of that line? We've got two options here that came in this bag. Number one is a Grande Bass worm. This is a trick worm, 6.5 inches called the Airtail Wiggler. I'll show you why it's called that in a second. And it comes in a watermelon red. So nice solid color for the spring to summer transition. Perfect for the waters that I fish. Look at that. So just a nice, tapered trick worm, right? Well, at the end of this, what you have here is actually an air pocket in there. So this is a hollow tail. And what that's gonna do is, you can see the hole right here, that worm hits the water and goes down, it's gonna have this tip up a little bit because this is gonna retain that air bubble. And that's gonna add this crazy additional effect, especially on a Carolina rig, where you're just kind of like lifting and letting it drop continuously. It's gonna be awesome. So I'm pumped to throw this. I also wanna throw this on a shaky head, and I think it's gonna be absolute money. I did have Debo's Fishing send me some Grande Bass bags back in the day. Never really got a chance to use them, but I was always impressed by like the look of them. So now, I'm gonna force myself to use them and I'm probably gonna dig out the ones he sent me and use those too. Okay, and then last but definitely not least, probably one of my favorite looking, at least I haven't used it yet, Carolina baits of all time and I can't wait to use it, Z-Man Boarhawks. Now I unboxed this in the national box and I was pumped about them and now I have two colors. So that color, I wanna say, and I'm going straight from memory here, was, I don't know, like a June bug, something like that. I, I have literally no idea. Uh, but it had like a purple dark side and then green pumpkin. This is just straight green pumpkin. So like you literally cannot go wrong, but this is awesome. So we got the Z-Man Elaztec, got the appendages all down the sides there. And then we got those claws that you end up breaking apart, which are also hyper durable. So. You can do this with your bait, you can rest assured it's gonna last a whole bunch of bites, and that is nice. I did mention uh, when I called this out last time I unboxed it, we were on the St. Lawrence, we were fishing a Gary Yamamoto bait, fantastic bait, and it was getting all the bites, but they were tearing up after just about every fish or every other fish. So we went through about four or five, maybe six bags of plastics in two days, this means we're gonna go through not even one bait probably in a couple of days. So this should hold up really well. I think it's gonna have a ton of action. If you guys know Z-Man, you know that it floats. So this is gonna be very slow on that fall, especially if you use monofilament line, which is what I'm gonna do because I'm in Michigan and the water temps are super cold. 
Okay, so there we have it. So we had the Z-Man Boar Hogs, Grande Bass Airtail Wiggler, what a heckin' name. The Monster Bass Carolina Terminal Tungsten Kit. We got the EWG Sabertooth Hooks. We got the Lucky Strike Crankbait. We got the Arc Square Bill, and I just noticed this too. It says your diving depth there, three to five. It's pretty rad. And we got the Vicious Ripper 110. And don't forget your instruction manual. Overall, very solid bag. Uh, if I were you, I'd be pumped to get this bag. I know I'm pumped to get this bag, but I want to know your opinions. So let me know in the comments below what you thought about the baits in this bag. What was the best bait? What was the worst bait? Maybe what's something that would be new to you and uh, how you plan on trying it out. I mean, I'm very interested to know that. You guys know that Paul and I love exploring new waters, trying new techniques, and there's a lot of that stuff coming your way this year year. So stay tuned. We are almost done with our Garmin Pan Optics project. It will be done next week, so we will get them out on the water. That'll be a video, so you're going to see our whole install, build, and testing phase with that. I'm beyond excited for it. And of course, come back on the 28th. We're going to be supporting this guy, that bass fishing dude. He's actually got a TM on his name. So heckin' cool. Super cool dude, super tall dude, kayak fisherman, and supporting autism acceptance, so a man behind my own heart. I cannot wait to talk to him on air, and I know you guys are gonna love it too, so be sure to be there that Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern. If you guys watched our last video on Monday, you know that we ran a giveaway this week that is either wrapped up or is wrapping up as of the airing of this video, so uh, if you missed it, jump back, see if you still got time to enter, and it included a whole bunch of Fish Lab stuff, as well as a Nakuma hat. We're gonna do more of those this season. So if you like giveaways, you like fishing, you like raising money for things like autism awareness, you like all that sort of cool stuff, then you should definitely consider subscribing to the channel, smashing the like and ringing that notification bell. And then of course, come back Thursdays 8 p.m. Eastern when we go live, we'd love to see you there and talk to you in chat. That's all I got for you guys on this video. Get out there, get fishing, have a good time, and we'll see you later, nerds.